Greetings, folks, and welcome to the inaugural episode of Vinyl Therapy Sessions Hot Toys Cost Baby versus Funko Pop, the, the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian uh, Edition. I am your host, Coco Smooth, and today I've been wanting to do this video for a long time a comparison video. Um, as you can see, I have both the versions of the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, uh, one by Funko Pop and the other by Hot Toys Cost Baby. Um, the similarities off the bat is that they both come in stands. I don't know if this is just star wars i don't i i believe it is yeah this is just star wars actually because i own a couple of marvel ones cost babies and they don't have stands and just like funko pops i don't know they they insist on them having stands for some reason i guess some kind of agreement that they got worked out for anything star wars because i'm thinking it has something to do with figures litigation that's just my guess on it so let's have a look at it. I did a video earlier, you know, much earlier on uh, the um, Hot Toys Cost Baby Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. I don't remember doing a straight up video of an open um, Funko Pop of the Heavy Infantry, uh, Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. Um, you'll notice that the colors are off. This one's kind of on the lighter blue side um, while this one looks to me more accurate paint wise uh, with, the, with the shade of blue that it has but the, the, if you'll notice though however that uh, Funko Pop tends to have more of a flattened face right uh, that's just though their, their, their MO they have to maintain the, that, that kind of pop they're both bobbleheads. Um, hmm, see, look at that. They're, they're pretty accurate as far as the overall design goes. But look at this. Notice the more details on this bad boy. You know, and look at the backpack too. Kind of different. I don't know which one's more accurate because I don't have an action figure to let me know which is actually more accurate to the show but either way they're they're both pretty good um, yeah look at this uh, I know it's trouble focusing focus Daniel son focus be only one at a time let's look at the gun see guns pretty similar and here rifles pretty similar too um, but I don't know which one's more accurate because this one has a lot more greater detail uh, yeah it just but I mean, I guess essentially they're the same in essence it's still a triple barreled um, machine gun I imagine and yeah this if you'll notice this definitely doesn't look like that um, and look he's holding it underneath versus him holding it up top not sure which one's the more accurate portrayal now I'm confused I gotta watch the episode <laughs> those are already big differences right now cost babies the idea is to make them look like babies like even more hyper stylized than I guess Funko Pops Funko Pops got that well they all, you know, cost babies effect is more like they try to give them belly, you know, like a baby belly. <laughs> so all the characters usually on cost, the cost baby thing have uh, a baby like build. Um, versus Funko Pop, which doesn't have a baby like build, but it's, you know, already hyper stylized as it is with its super deformed chibi take and these you know who's the king of the chibis in here <laughs> um, as you can see the package pretty accurate as to the look of the Funko Pop right and shoot same here on this side too 
Um, this one is significantly cheaper <laughs> than this. The, by, I believe the retail price for something like this is 30 bucks versus at most 15 bucks. So $5, you know what, this might be 25, I forget. Either way, the 25 to 30, Funko Pops no, no more than 12 to 18 bucks on retail, but mostly 15. Um, yeah, so this one's cheaper enough, but yeah, this the I guess the price for this isn't really as uh, high. Well, I mean it's higher, but not by much. Now that I think about it, unless you're planning to get like a bunch, in which case that you know obviously the tally starts to rise a little higher on this side. But here's the good news. The good news is, as far as I know, there's not that many um, Mandalorian or Star Wars of these yet there's you know they i've seen some but not nearly to as robust as the collection that uh, funko pop has already accumulated right and um yeah if you look ugh, the details just staggering you know this is one of those times where i wish i had one of them rotating uh <laughs> like them baller ass video makers out there content creators out there that i watch and jock <laughs> Uh, yeah, look, it's. I I know personally. I I I think this one got this one beat as far as uh, a more premium look. But you know, let's let let's face it. Uh, for the people who are more into the to the quantity section, Funko Pop, you can't really. It's already established a much deeper history of uh of a product versus cost baby and it's kind of a shame really because i think i oh man but thank my wallet the, the my wallet thanks me this though that they don't make as many of the cost babies yet because i feel like i have to get them all man especially the mandalorian ones i picked up most of them except for the grogu's because man i got way too many gosh damn grogu's already uh, I may end up regretting it because they're so cute and I'm sure there's a market for it but you know your boy can't afford all of this <laughs> so I gotta be a cherry picker and yeah look the box for this is actually pretty dope but the, here's the problem the problem is none of the other cost baby um, there, there's no uh, standard shape and size quite like a Funko Pop box does which is what makes collecting Funko Pops to me much easier because of congruency and I love congruency and symmetry man I tell you that's the the one thing that'll get me all the time cost baby is a little bit more of a nightmare but the product looks great it looks terrible in package but great in you know off out of package you know and yeah the, the mandalorian it looks we would look great in package too i imagine and you know but just as good out of you know out of package but i collect things in package mostly so it's easier for me to display i like to display the the boxes on the funko pops all right I, it's hard to display the box for this thing because it's just it's just a lot going on and yeah you know either way th this thing looks great outside package and let's look at it again folks this is you know obviously the guns are different the way it's held is different homeboys holding it underhand on the cost baby on top with the, the Funko Pop so I don't know which one's more accurate I Geez, gotta watch the show one more time to, to figure that out. Um, other than that, look, the, the, the details on the helmet's pretty similar. Um, more paint on this. Uh, well, what it's to be expected because Hot Toys is a premium product, right? But at lesser cost for the cost baby. So, yeah. Um, box looks great on here and. This one's just really a bunch of caution, <laughs> but the side art, you know, 
they, they wish they had sh they, they had more they had like uh on the back of the box of this one they should have a display of all the others so we know if there's others we need to pick up but uh, lack of foresight i guess on the cost baby side you know so yeah so what do you guys think which do you guys find better cost baby or funko pop i'm sure the funko pop guys are like funko pop bitches <laughs> it's easy to do that because you know there's already a huge funko pop you know community out there so either way i since i'm a baller enough to get both I, i'll get both <laughs> completely different collections the cost baby stuff and the uh, the funko pop stuff and i will gladly share it with you guys for your entertainment okay folks that's all i have for this segment of vinyl therapy sessions Hot Toys Cost Baby versus Funko Pop, the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian Edition. I am your host, Kobo Smooth, and until next video, ciao.